Good day everyone, this is your Global Wayfinder here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Adventure Time Rentals, located in Dillon, Colorado, whom we rented some snowmobiles from during our recent trip to Colorado. If you've never been snowmobiling before, I highly recommend it. This excursion was definitely the highlight of our entire trip. Um, I want one. They're all doubles. Oh, okay. Adventure Time Rentals provide unguided snowmobile going? rentals in this Summit County, that, uh, Colorado. GoPro. You pick up the There's vehicles from their office, load them on a flatbed trailer that is attached to a truck with four-wheel drive. After that, you get to choose which trails you want to take and for how long, just as long as you return everything by 5 p.m. All of their snowmobile models are the 2019 Skidoo Grand Touring 600s and can seat two passengers. Rates at the time that we went for a single passenger were $240 for a whole day's rental, $160 for a half day. For doubles, a whole day was $260 and a half day was $180. We only did a half day tour. When we picked up our rentals, the staff at Adventure Time recommended the Georgia Pass Trail for our afternoon. They take weather and snow conditions into consideration when making their recommendations to maximize your enjoyment and safety. The drive from the Adventure Time office in Dillon to the public parking lot with access to Georgia Pass took about 20 minutes. After unloading, we drove these, the snowmobiles on the public road for about 10 minutes until we reached the base of the trailhead. This road was definitely not ideal for some snowmobiles, but we were able to drive it with little difficulty. One thing we were warned about was to not drive through the property of Good Time Adventure Tours, another rental agency that operated right at the base of the trail. We could drive through the parking lot, but if we went through the property, we could face fines. Good Time Adventures operate sled dog tours as well as guided snowmobile tours. We were told that if we came across any sled dog tours on the trail to Hi. slow down and go as quietly as we could around them. Hi. Hi. Once we were actually on the trail, we could really get going I never looked down at the speedometer to see how fast we were going, but it felt like we were hitting at least 50 miles per hour, but maybe it just felt that way to me. I also have no clue how long it took us to reach the top of Georgia Pass. The view from the basin at the summit was absolutely breathtaking. We took a 15 minute break at the top to stretch our legs, get some photos, and mess around in the open field. There were a few other adventurers up there with us, some on more, more snowmobiles and some on snow motorcycles.
also swapped drivers for the couples who were riding doubles. Although I think the passengers quickly regretted this as we took the trail back down the side of the mountain. The incline felt way more steep going down the hill than it did coming up. My GoPro died before we reached the bottom of the mountain. We went for a bit on a second trail as well, Middle Fork Trail. We couldn't complete this trail though as it was getting dark and we had to be back before 5 o'clock to return the vehicles. All in all, this was an excellent rental for those looking for a make your own adventure experience. I would say that if this is your very first time operating a, a snowmobile and no one else in your group has either, maybe a guided tour would be better. You go first! I absolutely recommend Adventure Time Rentals if you are in the Breckenridge area and want an unguided snowmobile experience. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe for more.